want to see it. Uh-huh. What's up, y'all? Just Zay here, back in a pickup. And today we got a super duper special unboxing. Today I'm excited to unbox a pair of shoes that, I'm gonna be honest, even I slept on. Uh, today's pair of shoes we unbox are none other than a pair of Air Max Corlings. So the thing about this shoe that's so special is that it's a variation of the original OG Air Maxes, but they put a little bit of a twist on them and it's of course cheaper and it's a little bit more modern. Um, typically these shoes go for under $100. Um, depending on what colorway you go with, you can find these as low as $50. This particular colorway, I think right now is selling for $54. Four dollars. I got these right around seventy. That's how long I've been sitting on these. So if you've been following me on IG, then you know I've been on vacation. So vacation is over. So back to work. So let's see what we got. All right. So first thing you notice about these shoes is gonna be this air bubble. Um, it is blue, which at first I was like, well, that's different. A little bit unique. I don't mind it at all. I enjoy the fact that they made this blue because it brings out the accent of the little check that's right here. Um, I love when they do accents that. They don't overpower or take away from the core of the shoe. Um, this shoe doesn't have a cool nickname like the breads, um, but that doesn't mean the shoe isn't cool at all. This colorway, they classify as just cool gray, black, and red. As a matter of fact, I don't even think they say red on the box. So, you know, it is what it is, but it does not take away from this shoe. This is probably going to be one of the, the shoes that they come out every year just because of the price points under a hundred dollars this particular colorway is right around 50 60 dollars ship so i'm excited i finally got to review these shoes i finally got me a pair after a year later all right so the subtitle for this shoe is comfort in a throwback look and i'm going to agree with nike on this this does have a throwback look and it does provide some level of comfort um, nothing as a traditional runner would but you do have great traction right here thanks to the rubber waffle out of sole right here you guys can see some nice levels of traction on this shoe now this shoe is a few things as well as it's not um, what this shoe is is a great colorway at a great price point what it's not is this super duper comfortable shoe that's going to give you extra height and it's going to blow people away now what this shoe is as i was telling you guys it's a fair amount of comfort you got an air bubble right here that's roughly about an inch um, it's gonna provide some level of cushion and it says it has a lightweight cushioning as well so it's not bad I mean I'm not complaining with these shoes right here like I said these are under $100 now this shoe did originally come out in the year 2020 we are in 2024 so you are able to still find a few pairs and a few sizes for under 50 well, I'm sorry for right around $50 under 100 so I think that's going to be the colorway most people buy to get them into the shoe. Now, I personally would love to see an all white pair, but we'll see how it goes. Now, on the inside, you have just this blue sole with a red check, nothing too crazy. Now, if you had a pair of Air Maxes before, you know how these things fit. You're going to want to go with half a size up. Um, upper mesh right here, which makes the shoe very, very breathable during the summertime. Now, one thing I don't think you guys noticed is this little spot right here. This little imperfection right here. Now, if this shoe was $100 more, I'd be blown just a little bit, but for the price point, I'm okay with that. I'll get some scissors or a little razor and I'll cut that thing out, so I'm not tripping off that. Now, I do want you guys to see this. Now, unfortunately, you can't feel this, but you can kind of see how easy my hand glides off this smooth material right here. So overall, man, this shoe right here is well worth the money even if you had to pay retail which is right around hundred dollars i will buy these again if i saw these for under fifty dollars so all right so as far as being able to slip these on with no hands untied easy um tied up you're gonna need your hands so yeah and as far as taking them off this is the lace shoe take it off just fine unlace shoe take it off just fine 